So here we have some facts about parallel and perpendicular line and the relationship between their gradients. All right. So if two lines are parallel, I want to know what parallel is, right? If two lines are parallel, for example, for example, if I should draw a shape, let me draw a shape like this. Yes, no, that's not shape. Yes. I shall look at a um, rectangle like this. So for example, let me leave this rectangle. Let me call. Let me call. A. B. C. D. So we all know what, par what it means for lines to be parallel. So A, B is parallel to C, D. Alright. So. Whatever the gradient of AB is, notice CD has the same slopeness. And of course, that would be zero, don't it? Is a flat, both of them are a flat. So AB, same steepness as CD. So hence, naturally, based on the definition of gradient, then naturally, they will have the same, they will have the same gradient. Because they have the same steepness, same angle in relation to the horizontal. Good? So if we have two lines, so in this case, the gradient, the gradient of AB would be equal to the gradient of CD. As we can see also, the gradient of what are the other two parallel lines? So AC or CA will be the same gradient as BD. And as you can see, these two lines have the same steepness, same slopes, on, on, so they are parallel. All right? So that's what the first sentence is saying. So if two lines are parallel, so parallel lines have the same gradient. So if two lines are parallel, then they have the same gradient. That's going to become important information to have later on when we're working a couple of questions. And if they are per if they are perpendicular, so for example, for example, AC, the gradient of AC times the gradient of C D would be equal to what? Based on what we have up here. And by the way, we are going to do the proof for this in subsequent videos coming, right? So the product of two gradient, the product of the gradients of two perpendicular lines is equal to negative one. So these are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular mean they meet at right angle, right? Good? They are at right angles to each other. So AC is perpendicular to CD. So if I know the gradient of CD and I know the gradient of AC and I multiply them, the result should be minus one. In other words, whenever you if you multiply two values to be minus one, say for example you have use the actual number, say two over seven. First and foremost, but before I even think about minus one, what number can I multiply two over seven to to get one? It's reciprocal, right? It's reciprocal, or it's inverse. Good. So two over seven times seven over two give you one. All right, but the negative. For, for me to get negative one, I have to make one of them negative, right? So, we're saying if two lines are perpendicular, one gradient is a minus reciprocal of the other. The fact that they are product, so we, the, 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 the question, the statement up here says their product is equal to minus one. And for the product to be minus one, then one of them has to be the negative reciprocal of the other. So, in other words, if I know a line that's called PQ, and the gradient of PQ is 2 fifth. And I am told there's another line, R double. And if R double is perpendicular to PQ, then R double would have a gradient of minus 5 over 2. If R double is perpendicular to PQ. And see, so I have another line AB. Let's say AB is parallel to PQ. What would be the gradient of AB? 
the same 2 over 5. That's if AB is parallel to PQ. Alright? So if you have a line PQ and it's parallel to AB, it will have the same gradient as AB. And if it's perpendicular to RW, then its gradient, RW would have a gradient of minus 5 over 2. And notice the signs are different. So if one negative, then the other positive, and vice versa. Alright? If two lines are perpendicular. Let's look at a question. <clears throat> 